Well, viewers, I don't know what to say other than um, we bottled it. G'day viewers, welcome back to Pennies to Pounds, Season 5, Episode 7. My name is Waylands, but most people call me Wally. Uh, today we're going to bring you two games, but I'm, to be fair guys, I'm really sad. We've pretty much bottled it. We need to win every game and, yeah, sure would need to lose all of theirs. Uh, we lost against Abingdon. We've, as you know, we lost against Priscom and Thrupp and Long Levens in the last episode. Look, to be fair, we had a good run here, but this loss against Abingdon has really done us in. I thought it was, was the return of Ryan Harnwell, but he's gone quiet in the last couple of games again. Uh, that leaves us in second place on the ladder, and we are 12 points behind Shortwood. So they need to lose everything. We need to win everything. And unfortunately, we're playing Fairwood. Fairwood, uh, Fairford, I'm getting the two shipped there, with the leading goal scorer, Nicky Guest. Incidentally, Nick Guest scored uh, today for Peniston in real life, so up the church in real life. Is there any actual Peniston Church fans watching? Good on us. Did well today, even though it was only a 2-2 draw. Um, so we're going to go into today's match. Hopeful, but not very confident of things going our way. Form-wise, um, we've got a few guys that are, most of the guys, the guys are playing well. Jack Rafferty and Sam Scrivens um, tend to be a bit of an issue here at right back. Still, Sam Scrivens actually decided to leave the club. We let him go. Uh, we released him. A bit of a good riddance, really. Did well in the first season for us there at right back, but really, really hasn't performed since then. And it's just been disappointing. So we go into this match against Nick Guest Fairford with Gatorix and Goal, Johnson, Dong, Diamond, and Jack Rafferty as the back four. Horn and Twig and Berries in the center of the park. Horn's position in the side is really under review. Only one goal and six assists as our ball winning midfielder slash deep line playmaker at various times in the season. So that's not good. I'll be looking for a replacement there, I think. Um, I thought he was going to be the one. But again, he also carries that struggles in big games trait. So I'll be looking to weed that out of the club. Sam Scrivens was another one that had that, incidentally. So there's two of them gone. And neither of those two performed in non-big games like Harmel to justify their existence in the side. Hancock and Cummings on the wings. And Wood and Harmel up front. Let's just hope for the best, guys. There's not a lot. We can do now, all we can do is go out there and win games and hope for the best. Now, as far as right back solutions gone uh, are going, I am looking at retraining Jason Priest to play it right back. And I'm going to probably just play two attacking midfielders next year or even play five at the back. Well, I know it sounds horrible, but it is it is what it is, guys. I need to try and do something different here. And if I can't find a defender who meets our naming criteria with uh, a bit of speed and um, someone like, um, well not even a bit of speed, uh, I can't even remember his name now, a defender from the first season, Lovell who was back there uh, partnering Steele in the first season um, did quite well there, I think his experience and positioning uh, made up for his lack of pace and we were much tighter at the back um, we've lost more games this season than we have in any other season so far in the five seasons of our existence, uh, and yet we're going to finish second on the table again. Like last year, it lets you know how difficult this league is compared to the Northern Counties League that we're in. On Berries gets absolutely murdered there, but nothing comes of the highlight, so we're going to throw out some encouragement now. Um, absolutely pissing down here at the Memorial Ground. Leicester stands over the free kick. Uh, Gratorix doesn't even bother to move. It is so far wide. So I'm already looking at next season. I really need to clear a bit of the chaff out of the side. Um, there's a fair few of the young guys that come through. We did have our youth intake. And there are a couple of promising prospects coming through there. Um, but again, our youth is so bad. There's no real standout candidate. But we are getting one and a half, nearly two star youth players come through. Hornets Corners is through here. And Danny Horner. Deary me. Deary me. And this, it has really been the story of it. Now, watch here. Watch here. What's going on here? So, is, is this Horner? No, that's Lester. Where's Horner? We can't find Horner. The Friars. This must be Horner. 
Here's Horner. So we're going to keep a close eye on Horner here. And he's just found the half space there. Uh, neither Rafferty or Dickie Diamond are quick enough to react. In fact, Horn's reacted quicker than any of our defense have. And we're playing a low defensive line to try and avoid that sort of bullshit. And it keeps happening. It keeps happening, guys. So, hence my thought about going forward with the bag. Berries puts it in. Harnwell rises but can't quite score. And it is a goal kick for Fairford. Ascot go 1-0 up. This is not good enough, guys. Come on. We're going we're gonna to start with the demand more soon. Horn on the ball now. Again, Horn rise to the occasion here. Berries, can he find that ball that he's so good at hitting? Uh, one of the few players that's had a really good season. So we can Berries. Johnson puts it in. Wood can't stab the ball home from short range. And it is the goal scorer, Horner, now on the ball. He manages to find Leicester despite the attentions of um, our players there. And Dong's going to get himself booked here. So that's both of our centre half now have been booked. This is not good. So Horn with that long free kick. Only as far as Spencer, though. And Horn will recycle possession here. He hits the long ball out looking for Hancock. Now, Hancock is on the ball here. He puts it in. He finds Wood. And Wood, again, can only hit the ball into the Fairford defense. And the ball spills free. And that's the end of the highlight. I haven't really started scouting for next season yet, but I really need to. Look, there's a, there's a whole heap of guys on this season. They've got a Frank. They've got a Friars. They've got a Horner. All of them fit our naming convention. And do I have to start raiding some of these other teams? Uh, Nick Guest not even out there, and we're losing, and this is just not good enough. So we're going to go to the dressing room. We're going to try and rev the lads up a bit. We're going to, we're going to thrash the arms. I'm far from pleased, gentlemen. Far from pleased. I've been far from pleased, to be fair. on The, the guys are just camera shy. They're very, very camera shy, it seems, doesn't it? It's. I come back to you and say, hey, we've won four of our last five games, and I think I did pretty similar last episode as well. Or at least we'd won a few of them. And then we lose two on camera. Perhaps the guys know that these games are televised and they're all all scared of big games. Dicky Diamond does well there. Lloyd. Dicky Diamond is probably one of the guys. And Callum Bishop, to be fair. that They're probably the two on my radar to be replaced. Rafferty knocks the ball away there. And Rafferty. But like I said, um, Priest is a bit quicker than Rafferty. Uh, he's got more bravery, more commitment. He's a bit of a smarter player. Uh, hopefully, the retraining process is reasonably swift and we can get ourselves a reasonable defensive left back. Wood here, that's just... He just sprays that, to be fair. That's miles away from anywhere. Harnwell, again, poor form from Harnwell. So we're going to make some substitutions now. We're going to make the standard Geth and Harden for Harnwell, I think. Uh, Dominic, this is the whole team's just playing, playing terribly. Twig and Berries is having having a bad one himself. Um, really don't have anyone to bring in as an advanced playmaker to cover him though. So we're just going to bring on Jaden Dickinson, and he can play as a um, he can play as a box box midfielder. That's something he can do. Now, what else are we going to do here? And we might do Rafferty for Priest. Is that what we're doing? I think we might do Rafferty for Priest and try and speed up his retraining a little bit. And what can we do? We can just pump the fists and say they, they're going to make a difference. And get the boys out there. Because it, it's it's been the story of the season really, guys, hasn't it? Radio Lloyd now on the ball. We are going to go very attacking here. We're going to try and get this goal back. We're going to demand more from the entire team. Um, we don't want to overlap on the right. And we're going to stop hitting the hurly crosses and see if we can speed the pace... Oh, not speed the pace up. Slow the pace down a little bit and try and be a little more methodical with how we approach this. But anything other than a win here is no good for us. So we're going to... Demand more. No, we can't demand more again yet. We're going to demand more again now, though. And try and get the boys woken up here, but... They're going more attacking, so they're going for another goal. Harden here. Back to Johnson. Johnson to Horn. 
Horn puts it in the center of the Dickinson. Dickinson shows a good first touch there. Back to Horn. And Woods through here. Finally, is he? He's offside. It, he's Woods protesting, but to be fair, the whole, the whole all, all three of them are offline. Uh, Cummings, Wood, and uh, Gethin Harden, all three of them offline. Offline? Offside. Well, they are offline. None of them have done anything this game. Offline was probably a better description than offside. And what a disappointing end to the season for the church. Now, I'm, I'm in a bit of a decision here, guys. Unless we score two goals here, I might just bring the end of season uh, review at the end of this match and just play through the league, especially if we're not playing for second place in the league. If it ends up we're playing for second place in the league, I'll bring you the last match. Hancock here tries to harden through. And to be fair, it was the right idea, but um, the Fairford defence were awake to our tricks there. Johnson. Hancock nods it down. Looking for Horn. Woods offside again, is he? No. Woods onside. Yeah. He's offside. And it's the final whistle anyway. And that is the end of our chances of promotion in what has been... A pretty bloody disappointing season. So when I come back to you, I'll either come back to you with a match, a playoff match for second place against whoever ends up be chasing us or the end of season review. If second place is safe, I'll see you shortly. Yeah, viewers, confirmation here. Shortwood Crown Champions. Again, extra salty about that because of um, Samuel Hardy being with them. I uncovered the boy. I... Brought him to notoriety from obscurity, and he's gone and got himself to tier eight before me. Not happy, Jan. Right, because I'm crap, guys, I didn't hit the record button, but I've caught it one second after kickoff. I realized what's going on. Excuse me. Perhaps that's why the team plays so badly is because their manager is just crap. So we go into this game against Chelton Saracens. It is essentially for second place in the league. So I thought I'd bring you the game. So Gatorix in goal, Johnson, Dong, Diamond and Priest, the back four from the last game, all rated more than seven. See no reason to change it. Horn and Twig and Berries in the center of the park. Hancock on the left. Rigby comes in to replace Dominic Cummings on the right. And Wood and Harnwell, well, they're undroppable after scoring five goals between the two of them last match. Six goals even, because Wood scored four. Amazing stuff. Wood was just absolutely unstoppable last match. Both guys just, well, they, they just made, it, made themselves hard to drop. Linville Stevens got a little run last match. Again, I'm hoping I can give him a run this game. Begging for a name, guys. Hit me with your, with your punny names. And we go to kickoff here at the Memorial Ground. As seems to be the theme here. Um, does it always piss down in Penistone? I, I think it just... Always seems to piss down here, and that's why the reason our ground is absolutely rooted. But we go into this match here against Saracens, and we're only headed on goal difference at the moment, so this is a real, real, real big match for second on the ladder. Um, Harnwell is through here, uh, put through, and he doesn't miss those, Ryan Harnwell, and he's put through there by Hancock for a fantastic opening goal for Peniston Church. Look at this. Hancock plays a nice little ball here. And Harnwell knocks the ball past his opponent. I trained that trade into him. Um, suits him well. And past he goes. Nearly went tits up on the poor surface. But never mind. He's got there. One nil to the church. So I have made a couple of signs from the youth. So like I said, guys, um, hit me with some new names for those guys. Um, might rename a couple of them after... Regular Twitch and um, chatters and commenters here. So Rigby down the right flank here. Is he going to go? No, he puts Harnwell through. And Harnwell goes with an audacious folly but can't keep the ball down. Deary me. So um, next season I might try and bring in uh, a couple of those guys from Fairfoot um, that meet the naming criteria. Oh, they've got the... Th oh, oh, oh. That's, that's poor. Carl Ross. Has just scored the easiest goal of his life there, I think. What's going wrong here? Johnson Hancock has lost the ball here. And Johnson's just caught by surprise there. A little bit out of position. And um, Dickie Diamond sticks the foot out. Oh, dong, it is. Sticks the foot out, but can't do anything about it. Everyone else is out of position. And that is the end of it. 1-0 now in this 
decider for second place. Fox. Samantha Fox. Oh, my God. Were they too busy looking at his cleavage there, Samantha Fox? And he, they, he's just distracted him. Five Cougars, thanks, he says, and puts the ball in the goal. Deary me. Am I dating myself by mentioning Samantha Fox? I think I am. I think I am. Right. This is not good. We need to finish second here. This. And this, this, but this is what we've come to expect from the big games all season. I mean, this is a big game, and Ryan Harnwell has scored. So that just shows. Look at that jump in XG there. Um, just shows that that trait, as much as it's undesirable, is not over, not not the be all and end all. Is I think what I'm trying to say. Um, far from pleased, gentlemen. Far from pleased. I'm saying that far too often lately. Uh, Dong stamps on the ball and holds it up. Diamond just hoofs it long. Um, I got work ball into the box on. Um, I'll take the overlap off that side. I'll still play the overlap there. But I'm going to be a bit more expressive. Work ball into the box worked really well last game. Again, one of those teams that tend to sit back and let us come at them and... We were the team knocking the ball around for fun for a change, but I am going to make, I am going to swap that to hit early crosses here because these guys will be coming at us. So, well, they will be for the next few minutes, I think. Anyway, Fox, Samantha Fox finds Pierce, Pierce with the shot and doesn't trouble Gatorix there in the slightest. So th there's been, it's been, we've been disappointing since Christmas, to be fair. Um, you remember earlier in the season, we were nine points clear at the top of the table. Wood could trap the ball now. Horn here. Can we find something through? Harnwell's in here. Ryan Harnwell evens it up for the church. Come on. Can we do it? Can we hold off this Cheltenham Saracen side who have been there or thereabouts all season and get ourselves... A Yet another second place finish by Giddy Aunt. Dong nods that one down the berries. Berries to Rigby. Wood holds up the ball a bit here, which is good to see. Priest. Priest was really, really good in the last match. He seems to be growing into that role there. I'm not sure I want him hitting crosses, though. So I'll have to have a look at some personal instructions for him. Horn does what he's paid to do and removes the ball. Twig and Berries with an un unusual tackle there. He's, that's not what he's in the team for. And Harnwell can't beat Jeans this time. Jeans, Janus, whatever it is. Anyway, there's one in the face there. Harrison tries again. And Ross is oh, denied by the woodwork. And Dong knocks the ball out for a corner for Saracens. Samantha Fox with a corner here. Twig and Berries lifts the ball away. Wood now on the counter. Has Harnwell ahead in support. Wood finds Harnwell. Will Harnwell go back to Wood here? I think he might. He has. And Wood's not there. Hartman gets there. And disrupts play, and it goes out for a throw, but nothing to come from that. Right, yeah, we're going to go for some substitutions here. What can we do here? Uh, Dave Wood's having a shitter, so... Do you know what? We're going to give Linville Stevens a run there. We're going to do something a bit different. We're going to play the speedster up front and see if he can make the difference for us there. Who have we got on the bench? We've got Cummings to come on for Rigby. And I think we're going to make that change because Rigby's a little short of match fitness. And we're going to sit on that for the moment. Johnson not playing well. Really don't have a good replacement for Johnson on the bench. So we're going to we're going to soldier on through that one. Pump the fist. Let's get out there, boys. Come on. I mean, the draw is good because we've got them well and truly covered on goal difference. But to win would give us... It'd give us, a, a, dare I say it, would, would be safeguard against our propensity to bottle games. Priest nods it down for Cummings. Cummings first touch since he comes on. Oh, Linville Stevens puts Ryan Harnwell through for his hat trick. And the young boy has his first positive contribution on the score sheet for the team. Linville Stevens puts Ryan Harnwell through there. And that's the hat trick for Harnwell. And that's a good ball there. Incidentally, it's also Jake Gratorex makes his 194th, I think it is, appearance for Church today and knocks off Sam Scrivens as the top appearance maker for the club. Genus 
kicks the ball long, but only... Oh, I was about to say only as far as Johnson, but King beats him in the air. Stevens now knocks the ball down for Harnwell. Horn. What's Horn going to do with it here? He's going to look for Twig and Berries. Berries back to Horn. Cummings. I'm regretting training Twig and Berries to play one soon as Harnwell. Linville Stevens with a very, very speculative shot there. Berries. Looking at Stevens is there on the near post, but that wasn't what we're after. Pierce now piercing our defense here. Still Pierce. Still Pierce. And that's a good block in the end. Who's that with the block there? That's Hancock. That's a good running back from Hancock on the opposite side of the pitch that he normally plays on. And it looks like we're going to run this one out. 3 2 winners here. Let's hope. Twigan Berries has had a terrible game. I'm not going to bring him off now. It's a bit late to be worrying about that sort of thing. Good to see Linville Stevens having a good game and even better to see Hancock having a good game. Uh, well, I've persisted with Hancock there because I just think he's got the statistics to play well as that inverted winger. Incidentally, there is a true left-footed left winger with a lot of pace that I've signed from the youth that might, might, might push him for selection next year and give us some true width. That we've never really had on that side. Fox puts the ball in. Berries heads it away. Hancock tries to close down Fox. And Fox goes by himself, but can't find the net there. Five minutes of extra time. My giddy aunt. Pierce. On his far as decent. Viskin. Let him. And that's it. Free kick. Fox is offside. Offside by a nipple, perhaps. Gratorex. Not in a hurry to get rid of this one, Jake. And on Jake Gatorex, record-breaking appearance for Peniston. We managed to come away with a 3-2 win and effectively secure second place in the league. I, they're not going to score 25 goals to improve their goal difference there. Great game from Hancock there. Harnwell making it hard to look past him. Great game from Horn. Again, making it hard to look past him. I've got some thinking to do here. Priest, not so good this game, but he's learning there. He's always been a bit inconsistent, Priest. Right, we're going to come back to you after we play the last match, just so you can see the final outcome of the season. Um, we'll see you then. Here's the final standings for the league, guys. Shortwood uh, run out easy winners in the end, 12 points ahead of us second. Uh, we're three ahead of Saracens. Uh, then the usual cast that pushed us all season, Thatcham, Long Levens, and Fairford behind. Northley and Cinderford, uh, we say goodbye to those guys as they drop down to Tier 10. Ryan Harnwell finishes third in the league uh, for goals and also third on average rating. Nick Guest, sadly, finishing top there. What's that? I'm wearing a different shirt? Yeah, yeah, you caught me. I forgot to record the outro. Well, I forgot to record it. I hit the wrong button and it stopped recording, so... Hit like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. My name's Wylands, and I'll see you next time. And I hope they get to record this. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take our leave and go.